here tonight. Hi, everybody. James Sabalski here for EA Sports. Game number six is set to go down. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Sends it in on the attack. Works it across to Doan. And the play continues. All alone. Not sure what happened there. Oh, yeah, it looks like he was going left. That was going right. But his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Hammers one. That goes wide. But it's really got him on their heels here now. Stopper elects to hang on. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. McGregor's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Fagamos into the offensive zone now on the attack. Look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Tony's won the draw, they'll look to set up. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, this is a really great save, James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Ontario's got possession of the puck. With some open space at center. Here's a short pass to Hula. Oh, he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Receives the pass. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it to Hellenius. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Ontario's got the puck along the wall. Pass back to the point. With the blast! Oh, what a save on the one-timer! Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck in their own end. Leonard's picking up steam. Look out, here they come on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Scooped up along the wall by Smith. Slides the puck to Hebe. Here's a shot. We gotta give some credit to the shooter here, James. A quick release shot makes it difficult for the goalie to get set to position. And when you're a little late, you can get a piece of it, but it still winds up in the back of the net. The Roadrunners land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, and I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. Devastating collision! He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Ontario's got the puck. Hyman's moving the puck through his own zone. Strong defensive effort. Big hit, and that frees up possession. And he takes the feed. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. The Roadrunners win it. Long jam in front, that's broken up. He got all that hit. Quick pass 
across to McCartney. Excellent stick work on the play. Ontario's got it across the line. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And they're off the post. Ontario's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. They have to find a way to stay confident, continue with the game plan as they press towards the offensive zone. Feeds it over on the rush. Denies him. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Tucson's up, one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Douglas. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Pokes the puck away. Oh, a little Katberger-like play with the stick. Nicely done. Fires it into the offensive zone. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Barron. Slides it diagonally to Connaughton. And he takes the feed. Center in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Picked up along the boards by Leonard. And he takes the dish. The Rain have the puck against the boards. Doty's got it in the defensive end. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Smith. Puts him hard into the wall. Ontario's looking to break out. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Sends the pass over. The Roadrunners have it from their own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. The Roadrunners have it against the wall. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Tosses it to Kroniak. Pennelli's got it against the boards. What a steal in his own end. Cuts into the paint. Oh, that goes off his mask. Taken along the wall by Kroniak. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Tucson's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Tucson's got the puck along the wall. Ontario's gained possession. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Oh, and here's the pass. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. The Eagles, James, I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. More than half the frame has been played here. We've got a tie game. Ontario's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone face-off. The Roadrunners gain possession. Quick pass over to Doan. Tucson's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Misses a golden opportunity there. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Tynan's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Tucson's got the puck here in the open ice. Jennings stick handling in his own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Line to the net, he missed! Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. And that's poked away by Kemper. Quick feed to Jennick. Now a quick pass to Drew. Here he is, on the back end! Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the Sally. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. 
Well, this is a hard-working goal as well, James. You gotta fight for that inner area of the ice, you know, and when you're in that low slot area, it ain't easy to get to that spot. And then when that puck is on your stick, you know that you're gonna come into some heavy traffic. Great job to find the back of the net. Tucson's got a one-goal lead after that strike here in the first. Uh, it's all about quick strike, and now they've got the go-ahead. So they know that they can be confident with the puck, but they certainly can't sit back and protect it. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Moves the puck across to Kirkland. And he takes the pass. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Sends it over to Hudson. Picks off the pass. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. Great read with the stick. Puck battle along the boards. Great pressure with the stick. Picks up the puck in his own end. Slides it over to Lee. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Ward. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Belota. Here in the late going of the frame, the Roadrunners are looking to build on this one goal lead. McGregor's won it off the faceoff. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Fires it! Nice pad save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Ontario's generated a lot of scoring chances here in the first, but they still find themselves trailing late. Jody's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Connaughton's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And that pass attempt is deflected. Moves it over to McGregor. The Rain have taken possession in their own end. Locks them. Quick shot. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. the corner, the first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up an official team hat. for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Belota's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of them if they want to stay in this game. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. On well, a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Moves it to Hudo. Comes up with the stop. Oh, can't get it to Cole. Well, and there's a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. And that's turned aside. Slides the puck over. Slick feed. Broken up by Kemper. Trying to get it out of danger. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Tynan's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Ontario's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! And that's his first goal of a postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Ontario's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push. And a nice play there to get the equalizer. Great close here as he gets it back. Stop by the goaltender. Ontario's gained possession along the boards. They go on the attack from the left side. Pokes it away in his own end. Moves the puck to the attacking area. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers.
stirs things up. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. With the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Smith's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And that carries off a body in traffic. The Rain have taken possession along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Thomas. Takes the feed. Tucson's got control of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Picked up along the wall by Leonard. Here's a chance. That's gloved by Dell. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. And they win the draw here in their own end. From the open ice, they gain the line. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Jennings, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. Big save by the goaltender. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they take possession here in the offensive zone. And time to go on the attack. Made the save on the play. Puck picked up by McCarthy. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Ontario's across the blue line. There's a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot. Oh, the play. Whoa. Well, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Torniak's got it in the offensive zone. The Rain have gained possession off the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Ontario's got him along the wall. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Quick feed to Barron. Tucson's got it against the boards. The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. The Rain have it in their own zone. Here's a chance! Balalta's going to hang on for a whistle. More than half the period left to play. It's all tied up. Tynan's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Find some space in the corner. And they keep the pressure on. Scrum ensues along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Kemper. Tucson's through center and now in the offensive end. Shot! And that carries off a body in the lane. From the right side, they gain the zone. Turned aside with a glove by Belota. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Tynan's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Scooped up along the wall by Madden. The Roadrunners cross the blue line and are on the attack. 
And a little physicality ends that threat. He's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Drew. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Tynan's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Thomas. Moves it over to Drew. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Ontario's on the attack. Off his stick. Oh, he makes the save. I thought he was beaten on that one-timer, but no. Past the midway mark in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Smith won the draw inside his own end. Tucson's crossed the line and on the attack. Angles it over to Ariabucci. Big save in front. And it's a quick pass to Smith. Protects the puck around all sorts of danger. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that's poked away. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he slides it quickly to McCartney. They've got an on that rush! Oh, it stayed out! Oh my goodness, what a stop! And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a feed in front! He's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. They got a face-off coming up here in the offensive end. And the goaltender looks fatigued, James. So the best medicine right now for them. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Well, this is a play it looks like they worked on practice. You get the win, and then the quick-release shot buries it home. Tucson's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Ontario's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Love save made by Belolta. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Ontario's put up a lot of shots and so far plenty of scoring chances, and yet they still trail here in the second. Tucson's got a hold of it against the wall. Ontario's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a short pass to Ward. Tucson's got possession at center. The Rain have it on the attack. And a strong effort on that play. Belolta has been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Kenix taking it from his own end. Poked away at center ice. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sets the feet in front. And then turns off a twig in front of the net. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit, knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Tucson's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Textbook stop by Dell. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Oh, and a nice job getting the puck out of the zone. Uh, first, you got to get it. So the PK unit does a great job reading where that puck is going to be able to retrieve it. Then you got to get it down the ice, recognizing the glass is the best option. Perfectly executed. Cross ice pass to Connaughton. Good clearing attempt to breathe. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it to McGregor. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of it. Passes it in front, and that's intercepted.
intercepted. Gets it out of his own end. Ward's penalty is almost expired. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. Great start there. Sends it to the middle. Only comes up. Stop. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. The goals down there, they have to have talent. They have to have mobility. And they have to be able to track the puck. But they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot. And that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and they make the save. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-2 is where we sit in the goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. They win the draw and go on the attack. The shot dies in the traffic jam. The wall does really impress me tonight, James. Just look at that last sequence and that desperation save. Unbelievable. I mean, when it's required to be calm and poised, he's got quiet feet. But when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Well, that's a tough penalty to take at the end of a period, and it's all about the PK unit now. They've got to kill the time off, get to the intermission where they can reset. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. Although it's been a frustrating power play, they have to find a way to open the ice up. If they can have quick puck movement, they're going to cause the coverage to stay low. And that quarterback up high can let one rip. Jones crossed the line and gained the zone. The Roadrunners gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends a pass over. Big save! Just any hands on just as time runs out. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. The Roadrunners start the period off on the right note, winning the draw, and their man advantage unit gets going. Passes out front, and he scores! What a play! Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. Tucson's taking a two-goal lead now to start period number three. Well, it looks like the leadership group had something to say between periods because they have another gear here. They've come out with a sense of urgency and created a ton of energy. Face off here on the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on it, but a stop by Volota! The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Madden. Ontario's got the puck in the defensive end. Taken by Thomas. Along the half wall with the puck. Grabbed along the board by Madden. Moves it quickly over to Tyler. And yeah, that goes off course off a body. And now he moves it quickly to Madden. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The rain had the puck in the open ice. Takes the pass. Back at the point, they set it up. Bolalta's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Ontario's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Takes the shot. That's blocked by Bolalta. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Roadrunners lead it 4-2. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Steps into the offensive end. Shot! Fan 
appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save. And everyone around you is appreciative. Ontario's got possession of the puck. Tony's got it across the line. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Quick pass to Leonard. Forces the turnover. Scoops up the puck here. Now a quick pass to Hebe. He carries the puck up along the wing. Ontario's got a hold of it along the wall. The Roadrunners have it from their own end. Tucson's looking to break out. Leonard swooping in on the attack. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but they can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. Slides it across. Oh, a clutch save! Dell's all over shot makes an incredible save getting to the top of his crease quickly because that shot it came fast and in a hurry from the slot he was totally locked in on that play quick feed to McCartney the Roadrunners take it along the wall oh he got all that what a save by Dell now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room when you make yourself as big as possible there's less holes in the net McGregor set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. From the point! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Dell! Doty's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. McGregor's won the draw here, and he'll go on the attack. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Roadrunners have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Ontario's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Already down in the game and your back's against the wall. This is a massive kill. You want to keep the game within reach. Puck grab by Santini. Is going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Ontario's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. Jody's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Balalta's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. The rain have the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Santini, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. McGregor's gained possession, and his great work inside of the face-off circle pays off again. Moves the puck. McGregor's going to play it against the half wall. The Rain had possession along the board. it off the wall. They've got the defense outnumbered and makes the save. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Madden. Hard blast. He scores! And someone's heating up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expected he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint 
tonight, James, is showing off his skill set. Goalie coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Roadrunners are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Yeah, I wouldn't. If you're padding the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Jennings won the draw inside the neutral zone. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And that play's neutralized. Make a change, make a change. Moves it to Tandon. Tucson's got control of it now from the road end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. What a hit against the wall there. Great use of the wing as he pokes that one away. Big hit. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Jazz the puck away. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Chromiak. And that snapped away in the defensive end by Anya Bucci. Takes the puck. And he slides it quickly to Pirelli. Big time stop. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Gets the puck over to Pinelli. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. Handles the puck. Oh, what a stop by Volta. Here's a rock and a shot. Volta's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Ontario's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Oh, and he's and it stays out of the net. Takes the puck at the point. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. From the left side, moves that up ahead. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick pass to Hickens. Ontario's in on the offensive attack now. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. Battle along the boards. The Red have gained control of the puck along the wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Houdon. Taken down, the officials caught it. And they're going to be shorthanded once again, much to the chagrin of these fans. What is that? Is that three in a row now? Yeah, that's three in a row. You got it. And the fans certainly don't like it, but it's not up to them, is it? But now they're back to the peak. It's so difficult to get any kind of flow in the game when you're marching to the penalty box. The power play unit goes right back to work. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup. And man, is it working tonight. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Quick shot. Oh, great reflex pad stop by Belota. Gaining momentum up along the side. Ontario's got the puck. Slides it quickly to Drew. There's a great save and an excellent chance there. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. And the crowd urging for them to shoot as time ticks down. Fire it! Takes the shot. 
And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. There's two words in sports up next, Cheryl. Game seven. So entertaining from all angles, right? Your fans, us in the booth, and how about the players on the ice? I mean, how amped up are they for this game seven? You know, it's going to be intense. It's going to be something small that makes the difference. But both teams are going to leave it all on the ice to be victorious in this series. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end. But guess what, everybody? There's always next time. And we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.